Hey guys, tonight I want to talk a little bit about turning to exact length. Here's a piece of stock. Suppose that we want to turn to exactly one inch. Our stock has been rough cut on the bandsaw. It's, uh, we have an extra 75 thousandths there, roughly. We can't get a proper measurement off these rough cut bandsawn edges. So the first thing we want to do is face both ends. I'll talk for a minute about these other tools here. Here's a digital micrometer. Manual or digital will need uh, a micrometer to get an exact measurement once we clean up these faces. And also we'll need a dial indicator. You can use a arm mounted one, magnetic base and an arm to mount your dial indicator. Or this one has got this really handy accessory on it. It's a magnetic back. Your dial indicator just screws onto this adapter and you can put this directly on the ways of the lathe and do very exact movement of the carriage. We'll have a look at that later. First thing I'm going to do is clean up these ends so that we can get a very accurate measurement. Be right back. Okay guys. I cleaned up both ends nicely. I used a power feed to get a nice smooth finish. I uh, didn't go too crazy. We're, we had an extra 70 thousandths to work with. So I didn't take a whole lot off. So now that we have two nice clean faces, we can take an accurate measurement. I double checked that my micrometer was zeroed. I, of course, had to close the anvils, clean the anvils, close the anvils. Reset zero, and now we can take a accurate measurement on these faces. I'm using the ratchet on the micrometer to get a even squeeze. So we're seeing twenty thousand point nine five. We're, sh we're shooting for one inch, so we're there we're seeing 21 thousandths over. I'm moving to different areas of the work here. Twenty-one thousandths over. Twenty-one point seven five. I'm going to call that 21 thousandths that were too long. We have to go back to the chuck now and remove 21 thousandths off this part to bring it to our exactly one inch. Let's go to the lathe. Okay, guys, here we are. Okay, guys, we're at the lathe now. We have our our stock in the collet chuck, in this case it's a collet chuck, three jaw chuck, four jaw, it doesn't matter, we're working on the length. So con concentricity is actually not critical. I just brought the tool 
tool up to the face of the work. I brought it up gently. I'm just going to lock my carriage there so that we can be assured the tool is gently and snugly against the face. I'm going to take off the handle on my tool post. I'm bringing in the magnetic back dial indicator. I'm, I have it set nice and perpendicular to the carriage, not cocked one way or the other. Nice and perpendicular. I'm just going to tap it till my needle comes to a convenient area here. There we are. Now I'm carefully setting my dial to zero, not just close, but might as well go right on, right there. Okay, so now we can move the tool off the work. We have 21 thousandths to take off. I'm going to go 15 and 6. I'll do, I'll hand feed the, uh, the 15 pass, basically more of a roughing pass. And then for the final pass, we'll use the power feed to get a nice finish. Releasing the carriage, advancing 15, lock the carriage, 755 RPM. Release the carriage, go my last six more thousandths to bring us to 21 thousandths. And I hit it bang on there. If I overshot, I would have had to back way up, take up the backlash, and then come back in for the 21 thousandths on the dial. Right there. So I'll use the power feed on this pass. Let's go see how we did. Okay, let's see how we did. Fifteen tenths over. Twenty-five tenths under. Fifty tenths under. Fifty-five tenths under. There you have it, boys. Uh, turn to length within half a thou. I'm quite pleased with how that came out. Half a thou, half a tenth. Uh, so just some some points. Point number one, you cannot, of course, measure off of a bandsaw or a poorly finished face. You want to ultimately have a finished, finely finished surface on there to measure against. Clean the anvils on your micrometer and zero it out at the beginning of your session. The micrometer stand helps with accuracy quite a bit cuts way down on the fumbling around, that you get a nice parallel
alignment of the part to be measured. Uh, the parts at room temperature, if it's still hot off the lathe, you're not going to get a truly accurate measurement. And then when once you do determine how long you you are and how much has to come off, be sure and very carefully place your dial indicator on the ways. Don't just slam it into position and dial it to one or two over or under. Carefully dial it in. Carefully align your tool with the face before you zero out your dial indicator. That's it for now, guys. Turning to exact length. Thanks.